is this backwards orbiting asteroid an interstellar visitor? When discussing rare and unusual objects in our solar system, asteroids are not usually the first things that come to mind. In fact, there are well over 770,000 asteroids that have so far been discovered and orbit our Sun as remnants of the rock and ice particles that formed the planets and even our very own Earth. Most of these hundreds of thousands of asteroids orbit the Sun in a counterclockwise rotation, although 95 asteroids have been identified as orbiting in an opposite clockwise direction. Asteroid 2015 BZ509 is one of these apparent rule-breakers adhering to the same orbital pattern of Jupiter, only it travels in the opposite direction from the gas giant. However, this seemingly backwards rotation is not the main reason that this asteroid stands out from its fellows as a rare and unusual solar system object. BZ509 is being carefully studied by astronomers because researchers have named it as one of the only two identified interstellar objects and the first to occupy a place of permanent residence in our solar system. But these claims have turned out to be slightly controversial within the astronomy community. The initial claim of BZ509's mysterious origins came when researchers modelled the orbit of the strange asteroid in one million different iterations. Each clone of the space rock adhered to a slightly different orbit, with the goal being the revelation of its origin, or at least a glimpse into how it came to orbit opposite from most other asteroids. It seems most of the computer-generated orbital paths saw the asteroid destroyed within one million years, never coming anywhere close to its current age without being slammed into other bodies or into the Sun or out of the solar system entirely. Out of the hundreds upon thousands of potential paths, a mere 27 ended up with paths resembling the current orbit of the asteroid. Whereas most of the asteroids that make up the dense, swirling disk running through our planetary neighborhood played a role in the initial creation of the solar system and have thus always been a part of the fabric of our solar system, researchers believe that BZ509's opposite clockwise rotation has always been present. This hints at the fact that it may have more distant origins than its brethren and was pulled into its current orbit by the gravitational pull of Jupiter. The lead author of the study detailed these peculiar findings, explaining their conclusions in a press release saying that how the asteroid came to move in this way while sharing Jupiter's orbit has until now been a mystery. If 2015 BZ509 were a native of our system, it should have had the same original direction as all of the other planets and asteroids, inherited from the cloud of gas and dust that formed them. Researchers believe that, in the early days of planetary formation, when stars were densely packed and in close proximity, the gravitational pull of the planets could have caused asteroids to effectively swap between the systems, and BZ509 is hypothesized to be one such transplant. Although other researchers have their doubts about this hypothesis, instead pointing out towards the distant Oort cloud at the edge of the solar system as a more likely candidate for the asteroid's origins. Much more research is needed to officially confirm or deny these interstellar projections once and for all. The mystery smudges on Saturn's rings. Spoke season refers to a period of time during the Saturnian year, around the equinoxes, when mystery smudges appear on the planet's rings. These smudge marks are roughly shaped like the spokes of a wheel. Scientists and researchers have no idea what causes them or why they appear. Saturn's spoke smudges were initially discovered in images from the two Voyager probes back in 1980 and 1981. These temporary streaks could not be attributed to shadows because they followed the rings around in their orbit, staying in the same spot. Another characteristic of these spokes was found to be that they appeared darker from above and even sometimes disappearing altogether. From below they seemed to be bright. The spokes appear usually during Saturn's spring and autumn for an eight-year period centered around the equinox and disappear during the summer and winter, which correlates to the solstice. A recent re-emergence of these spoke smudges means there is once again a chance to observe and find more information about them. This resurgence, combined with the constantly advancing and improving scientific technology, 
is a great opportunity to study these smudges in detail. James Webb Telescope may have found the oldest known galaxy. The newly launched James Webb Space Telescope was one of the most highly anticipated advances in space exploration. And since its launch in December of 2021 and subsequent activation almost six months later, it has made good on these anticipations and has already delivered some amazing, barrier-breaking results. Among these was the discovery of the oldest galaxy that has yet been seen, Galaxy Glass Z13, which was photographed by the telescope and dates back to when the universe was just 300 million years old. This beats the record for the previous oldest galaxy discovered by around 100 million years, and even predates the existence of our Sun by 9 billion years. Planetary scientist Dr. James O'Donoghue took to Twitter to explain the significance of this discovery and provided valuable perspective of the scope, saying that when glass Z13 emitted the light we see today, it was about 3 billion light years away from us, or whatever us was back then. The 3 billion light years of space that once separated us from glass Z13 has expanded to over 33 billion light years today. But the James Webb Space Telescope has also found some competition for Glass Z13 as the oldest known galaxy in Glass Z11, which is located in the same general area of space as the former and whose relative age is currently being reviewed. Other than the remarkable distance which these galaxies are located from us, part of the reason that they had not been discovered before is that they are incredibly small in galactic terms, especially when equated to our own Milky Way, which is about 100,000 light years in diameter compared to Glass Z13 and Glass Z11, which measure 1,600 and 2,300 light years in diameter respectively. With regards to the significance of such a discovery, researchers studying these amazing galaxies do not think that it was a coincidence that two such noteworthy galaxies were discovered so close to each other. As they explained in their paper detailing the discovery, which is currently being peer-reviewed. These two objects already place novel constraints on galaxy evolution in the Cosmic Dawn Epoch, the period from about 50 million years to 1 billion years after the Big Bang. They indicate that the discovery of GNZ11 was not simply a matter of good fortune, but that there is likely a population of UV luminous sources with very high star formation efficiencies. This means that scientists suspect that these two new galaxies are not alone in this category of space, and that the enhanced capabilities of the James Webb Space Telescope will allow us to probe these depths and discover many more galaxies as it orbits. An interesting aspect of this discovery, as with any discoveries made of celestial bodies light years away, is the fact that we are not actually looking at the galaxy as it exists in the present day. Because light takes time to travel that far, we are effectively looking back to the early days of this galaxy, which can act as a sort of window in time to what young galaxies looked like when the universe was only a few hundred million years old. Although these galaxies likely no longer look exactly like this, these are valuable opportunities to craft a timeline of the development of the universe throughout the billions of years of its lifetime. Hopefully further exploration and photographs made by the James Webb Space Telescope will continue to shed light on what is out there leading to even more discoveries and solved mysteries. NASA successfully crashes spacecraft into asteroid in planetary defense test. A common plot in Hollywood movies is an asteroid crashing into the face of the Earth and destroying all of society. But do we really face the risk of this happening? NASA seems to think so as they have begun testing how a spacecraft can launch into the solar system and redirect any incoming celestial bodies. Recently, NASA spent millions of dollars to send a spacecraft into space to collide with an asteroid approximately the size of an entire football stadium. This asteroid was not coming toward Earth, but this was a planned test to see if human technology could change the trajectory of the large mass. The mission was known as Double Asteroid Redirection Test. The launch is currently being considered a success as the spacecraft collided with the asteroid. The coordinates and impact of the spacecraft was a bullseye, and the rubble of the asteroid was seen from the live recording. However, despite the celebrations, 
The mission is not a complete success because it will be several months before scientists know if this hit caused a change in the asteroid's trajectory. The spacecraft was not strong enough to completely destroy or break apart the asteroid, but it's hoped that it had enough force to change the current path of the large celestial body. Nonetheless, DART is a huge success and advancement in the science community. Humans can now feel a little more confident in the development of our technology. In a few short months, we will know whether it's possible to not only directly strike an asteroid, but also change the trajectory of a celestial body. We want to be well prepared in the case of any doomsday-like situation in the future and having the technology to redirect asteroids is definitely a huge win. ARKIT to start sending quantum keys with satellites You may have heard about the anticipated wonders that quantum technologies could do for us in the near future. UK startup ARKIT are looking to make these ideas into reality with their ambitious plans to start delivering quantum encryptions all over the world via satellites in a mere two years. Quantum encryption keys are thought to be unbreakable, at least with current computing powers, and use quantum properties of subatomic particles such as photons, the smallest light particles. Basic quantum theories such as wave-particle duality explain on the simplest level of this technology how such an encryption could possibly be unbreakable. Similar to the Schrodinger's cat thought experiment, the idea is that in the quantum realm, particles behave like waves and waves like particles, thus exhibiting a dual state behavior. With encrypted data, this means that transmissions can be carrying all possible keys of information at once, but once you observe it prematurely, the photons drop their multi-state, choosing one observable state. This means that by observing it, you have destroyed the information, collapsing the photon's superposition early. As such, unless you can hack the data to observe it, without detection, currently impossible, quantum encryption is, in this way, unbreakable. With ARKIT partnering with giants such as BT in the UK and Northrop Grumman in the US, their plans to launch two quantum key distribution satellites in 2023 will be absolutely game-changing if they pull it off. They also explain that while fiber optics can transmit some amount of quantum data, this is extremely limited and slow, and thus the only plausible way to deploy quantum key distribution, especially on a global scale, is by using satellites. This is because space is a vacuum, and as such information-loaded photons can travel literally hundreds of miles much more easily, and much faster than through friction-loaded fiber optic cables. This said, ARKIT is already providing quantum key distribution solutions through fiber optics but with special software additions too. Their 2022 satellite plans are thus only the next step in what looks to be a long and promising future ahead of the futuristic startup. The University of Utah Discover New Black Hole Researchers from the University of Utah have recently been able to confirm the existence of intermediate mass black holes. These bodies have been sought after for a long time and are key in understanding the formation of galaxies. Speaking of the discovery, Anil Seth, a co-author of the discovery and professor of physics, said, This is an important step in understanding the process of galaxy assembly. The process of how we got from the Big Bang to having a sun with a planet around it in a galaxy like the Milky Way. We're seeing the fossils of that type of assembly here, and that's what makes it exciting. The discovered black hole is named B023G078, and it's shown researchers more about what happens when two galaxies collide. The black hole is what scientists called a stripped nuclei. This is created when a smaller galaxy is swallowed by a larger one. The smaller galaxy becomes very dense and starts to orbit the bigger one. The discovery has helped researchers understand the key relationship between black holes and stars, and their responsibilities in galaxy formation. There are two different types of black holes that we know about in the universe. There's the ones that are formed when stars blow up at supernovae and leave behind a mass similar to the mass of our Sun. Then there's these really massive black holes we find at the centers of galaxies, and they're typically more than a million times the mass of the Sun, explained Seth. 
The most exciting result is that this black hole is in the gap between them. And that is most likely telling us that it was the center of a galaxy, which is also shown because of the wide variations of elements within the star cluster, Seth added. The hole was discovered in the galaxy Andromeda, over 2.5 million light-years away, with data gleaned from the Hubble Space Telescope and the Gemini Observatory at Mauna Kea in Hawaii. As well as having 8.1-meter diameter mirrors, the Gemini Observatory Telescope also has what is known as Laser Guide Star Adaptive Optics. This technology corrects for any interference caused by the atmosphere. The discovery has been over 10 years in the making, as co-author Seth originally submitted a proposal to search for the black hole around 2012. It took four years just to have the submission approved, and roughly another six for any results to be found. It just goes to show that traveling across space is not the only slow process. Studying it takes a lot of time too. But what do you make of these recent discoveries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and help us grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.